What's up everybody? This is John from the Windows App Studio team and today I'm going to do a brief tutorial on how to use the YouTube data source within App Studio. So as you can see on my screen here I already started App Studio. I created a new project and I chose the empty app template and for the purpose of this demo we're just going to say that I'm making a Sounders FC fan club app. So let's go ahead and use our YouTube data source. Let's hit the plus sign. We're going to name it Let's just name it videos for now. Uh, and then we look at our data configuration, which gives us a few different options. So the, the most basic is search. So if I want to search for Seattle Sounders and hit confirm, what this does is it pulls in any video with the words Seattle Sounders anywhere in the title, the description, the tags. Basically, if anyone uploads any video on YouTube and puts Seattle Sounders in it, it's going to pull here to your section. So that's not exactly what we want when we're trying to make a very specific app. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's re-add our YouTube section. And this time under data configuration, let's try the user defined configuration. So this one's pretty simple. Um, if we go to the Sounders FC page, you can see at the top here it says youtube.com slash user slash soundersfc.com and that's going to be our username. So let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to App Studio, paste it in, and hit confirm. And then what that does is it gives us everything that this exact user, the Sounders FC official user, uploads. So we can see there. Now there's another way to do this because sometimes what happens is this username at the top here of uh, Seattle uh, soundersfc.com, it won't work for every single user. And so there's a bit of a workaround. So if we go to videos, and then we click on any one of their videos, uh, underneath here, we'll see that it says Seattle Sounders FC. It says the channel name. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then it takes us to the channel. It takes us to the channel listing. And after it says channel in the address bar, you have a list, a string of, of letters and dashes and an underscore. It's all different. Uh, sometimes there's numbers, sometimes there's not. Let's go ahead and copy that unique identifier string. We'll go back to App Studio, choose the same thing, user defined, and then drop in that unique identifier. And it does the same thing for us. It grabs all the videos. So if, if you find that the username doesn't work for you, this uh, channel string is your workaround. So from here now, let's go ahead and check out playlists. So we open up the YouTube data source again, we choose playlist. So we can put a search term or a playlist ID. So if we want to use a search term or a username, uh, we'll go ahead and, and use this bottom section. Uh, and then the playlist ID, the exact ID would go in the top. So let's go ahead and uh, start by searching. So let's let's search Seattle Sounders. And there it is. We have uh, Seattle Sounders highlights. We have 2014 match history. Uh, popular Seattle Sounders FC. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Seattle Sounders by Jose de Jesus 91. So we hit confirm. And then there is all, it, all of his videos that he wanted to define. So now if we want to go in and add a official playlist from Sounders, we'll go ahead back to their channel. We'll click on playlists. We'll choose one, like all their highlights. And then you have up at the top here, youtube.com slash playlist question mark list equals and then a unique identifier. So after the equal sign, that's going to be your unique identifier for your playlist. We'll go ahead and copy that. We'll go back to App Studio. We'll drop it in the top box. And then hit confirm. And then it's all their highlights. So now if you, in your app, just want to make a single video, right? Let's just say you want a single video 
inside your app. What you can do is go ahead and go to your playlist, right? Create a new playlist. Let's say single video for FC app and hit create. And then I want to add the single video to it that I want. And let's say, let's say it's the ALS challenge that DeAndre and Lamar did. Go ahead and go into the video. Come down to the add to section. Single video for FC app playlist. Go ahead and click on that. And you can see it's successfully added. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the main section of YouTube. I'm going to go to my playlist. I'm going to click on my brand new one video playlist I just created. Look at my, for my equal sign here. Everything after that is my identifier. So I'll copy and paste that. I'll come back to uh, App Studio. I will go and select my playlist data configuration. I will drop in its unique identifier and I hit confirm. So uh, you can, if you just want to add the single video, this is your way how. If you would like to create your own playlist, that's exactly the same way to do it. You would just keep adding videos to that same playlist instead of just one. And then uh, just remember, if you plan on publishing your app to the Windows Phone or Windows Store, we recommend using only videos that you have the proper rights to. Otherwise, you might not pass publication. So if you guys have any questions uh, or need any further explanation, uh, please go ahead and feel free to ask. Visit our forum. Uh, go ahead and comment on our blog. And we will be looking out for those questions. So thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed.